Hello and uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie and for today's video we are watching The Brood from 1979. Uh, so we are almost to the 80s. Super excited. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the closer it gets to like the newer films, the more kind of excited I am. Not that I haven't had fun visiting some of these old ones, um, seeing some for the first time, seeing a lot of these for the first time, uh, but I am a sucker when it comes to the 90s and early 2000s, you guys know. So, uh, I'm excited for getting into those and the 80s. I'm a sucker for the 80s, of course. But I, yeah, so I'm excited to get into the 80s. This is a film I have not heard about. This one I am going in completely blind. I didn't look up a thing about it. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to watch this one and let you guys know what my final thoughts are. Okay, so just finished with watching The Brood and I really liked this film. So a little more information on it is that it focuses on this father who finds himself basically who finds himself taking care of his daughter alone after he ends up having to send his wife kind of off to see this psychiatrist. He's kind of a I guess alternative psychiatrist um, or experimental psychiatrist uh, and she goes to basically like live not in like an insane asylum or anything like that but like his I'm not really sure what would be called like a care place um, basically where like patients can go and get like help and uh, see their psychiatrist. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little all over the place and no clue what you would call it. Uh, but the fa- but, um, the father discovers, uh, some bruises and marks on his daughter, which he believes is caused by her mother, uh, who is still getting to see the daughter. She has to see her once a week. Uh, but he doesn't, the father doesn't get to see uh, his wife. Sorry, I like, don't know character names. And he ends up confronting the psychiatrist, uh, basically saying that, you know, he believes his wife is hurting his daughter during these visits and that she, he's no longer going to bring her. Uh, but the psychiatrist tells him that that's, you know, a bad idea. Uh, during the stage in his wife's like recovery and that he and that basically like if he refuses to bring her there will be legal action and that the courts tend to decide with mothers which can unfortunately sometimes be very much true um, and so he's going to force to continue to take her but he and uh, his wife's father uh, very much questioned the psychiatrist uh, and his intentions and his practices. Uh, they think that he's really, really up to something and that's kind of just what this film is about. Um, it's really a bit of a mystery type of film. Um, now, watching this for a lot of it I kind of felt like I was really enjoying it but I wasn't really sure the horror aspect of it uh, because there and I mean just because of the vibe it gives off, gives off it's not extremely I guess I don't think intense is the word I'm looking for but it doesn't give you it didn't give me that like kind of I guess on edge suspense suspenseful feeling that I feel like all types of horror have. I feel like suspense is a big part of it. Um, it's a lot of like 
what the hell is going on? Um, people are killed and you're not really sure what or who is doing it. Uh, it's really a mystery. Uh, but you get toward the end of this film and some crazy craziness happens that definitely ups that horror factor of it for me. Uh, which, I mean, I do feel like a little bit of a hypocrite being like, oh, the film's not a horror film, but... Because I made a whole video about that subject. But, I mean, sometimes I feel that way. It definitely got there uh, towards the end of this film. Uh, but I did enjoy the entirety of it. And it's really, like, grabs your attention. And there's characters that, like, you're... You actually like care about what's going on with them and the mystery of it all um, and it's really good I just watched it on YouTube uh, so if you just look up I would look up the rude I think that's how it's pronounced I'm assuming 1979 and it's one of the it's like probably the first video that pops up uh, but you do kind of have to be very specific and put the year because apparently there's a wrestler by the same title. Did not know that. So you get a lot of wrestler videos if you don't include the year portion. Uh, but maybe I'll just, I'll try to remember to link it down below. Uh, but if you have seen this film, let me know what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. If you did enjoy this, please do give a big old thumbs up and make sure that you hit the subscribe button for more horror related content. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video.